Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Todd Warren with a look at your forecast here across the Arklatex for the next week to 10 days. And again today, a lot to talk about. So we'll give the latest on your Thursday night storms and the possibilities of what to expect uh, for maybe some wintry weather Sunday night into Monday. Today, the story is lots of sunshine and lots of wind. You can see that wind blowing from the southwest, indicated by the flag there in Marshall. Uh, wind and the sunshine warming us up into the 50s and low 60s. And uh, likely we'll see the continuation of the warming trend tomorrow. As we are watching area of low pressure trailing cold front ahead of that, we will see a warm up tomorrow. Storms will develop along this cold front tomorrow night, and then some cooler air will work into the area for Friday and this weekend. That's just a foreshadowing of what's to come because there's much colder air uh, moving into the northern sections of the country by the end of this week. That will arrive as we close the weekend and head into next week. So let's talk about our chance for thunderstorms. First of all, look at Robin Starrier to Futurecast shows that we will see the clouds gradually begin to increase probably late tonight as uh, temperatures will not be as chilly as a result. Tomorrow, I expect a mostly cloudy sky with some afternoon sunshine. It will be rather windy once again tomorrow and uh, for the most part dry during the day. But as we head into the evening hours, that cold front will produce some scattered thunderstorms. You can see the activity at midnight, very close to Interstate 30. It moves down close to Shreveport by 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and then should be pretty much east of the Oracle Tex by the time we wake up Friday morning. The wind will once again pick up especially Friday morning behind this frontal system as what's left for the clouds should give way to lots of sunshine. That wind will gradually diminish as we go into Friday evening and Friday night, setting the stage for a mostly clear sky uh, for Friday night and um, lots of sunshine for the most part on the way for Saturday. Storm Prediction Center still has a slight risk for severe weather Thursday night over pretty much all of the Oracle Tex now. It does appear as if wind and hail will be our biggest concerns, but we can't totally rule out the isolated tornado. You can see the latest from Futurecast. These swaths indicate uh, uh, areas uh, where storms could be rotating. Notice the colors of those swaths on the low end of the spectrum. So this tells me that, again, that chance for the tornado will exist everywhere. And again, maybe a little bit higher across the northern half and eastern half of the Oracle Tex as that line makes its way through the area. As far as uh, the longer range weather picture, Arctic Front will make its way through the area late Sunday and Sunday night. Uh, we likely will see some precipitation with this frontal system and behind it. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, the big question is, uh, it looks certain that we'll get something. The big question is what and how much of that what. So let's show you some of the possibilities with some of the various models here. This is a look at freezing rain potential. And you can see, notice we have a couple of models showing a decent amount of freezing rain in Shreveport, basically the southern half of the area, not as much further to the north. Uh, and still some of the other models not quite so optimistic or pessimistic, depending on your point of view, uh, as far as the amount that we'll see. So still some model agreement there, but this is definitely something that we'll have to keep an eye on because just a quarter of an inch of freezing rain can cause some power issues across the area. And then snow, it looks like that could be more of an issue over the northern sections of the Arklatex. You can see the amounts indicated uh, uh, in Texarkana from the four different models. So again, it does look like, as of right now, snow the main issue further to the north and may, maybe a big ba mixed bag of precipitation, mainly freezing rain and some sleet further to the south. Uh, obviously, we're still several days out from this event, so things will change. Another thing that's becoming clear is that it's going to get cold behind this cold front. Once all that precipitation ends, we will likely clear out Monday night and temperatures will plummet. You can see lows will be in the single digits over the northern half of the area and in the low to middle teens across East Texas and Northwest Louisiana. And it's possible we could see a day or two where temperatures stay below freezing. So keep that in mind and uh, keep that in mind for your preparations as you get ready for this winter onslaught of cold and precipitation that is on the way. So your forecast for tonight is uh, looking increasingly cloudy. Temperatures will uh, be a little bit warmer where the clouds arrive sooner. You can 
can see 42 in Shreveport, but 32 for the nighttime low tonight in Texarkana. Tomorrow, expect to see lots of clouds as we'll see the thunderstorms develop late in the evening over the northwest half of the area. That line of storms will move across the region tomorrow night. Severe weather again possible ahead of that. A warm day for this time of year. 63 in Texarkana, 70 in Shreveport, 70 also in Natchitoches, and 69 degrees for the high temperature in Carthage. 10-day forecast shows that we will see the sunshine return Friday, but it will be another very windy day. Likely we'll see gusts approach 40 miles per hour yet again. Saturday not too bad with highs in the mid 50s, mid 50s Sunday ahead of that Arctic front. And then the bottom drops out with lows in the lower to middle 30s, both Monday and Tuesday. You can see uh, our highs in the low to middle 30s, lows in the teens. Some of you will see single digits, especially Tuesday morning. And then we'll modify things a little bit with highs returning to the low to middle 50s by the end of the week and overnight lows uh, eventually getting back up closer to freezing as we go through the last half of next week. So a couple of things to watch out for in the coming days, the first of which will be the chance for some strong to severe thunderstorms Thursday night. And the second will be a little bit of winter precipitation, which could be freezing rain, sleet and or snow, as well as extreme cold for our area as we go into the first half of next week.